Tishan. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of Are You Dying to Know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am. Hi guys. Hi guys, how are you? Yay. Get a load of this. Oh Dude. My goodness, what is oh, this? Oh, careful, it's tenuous. Oh, 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 oh. When you don't have ears, it's hard to keep sunnies on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, just sporting that lovely. Felt hat grooving to his own vibe. Uh, uh. Do you know what it reminds me of? What? Reminds me of a character of Starsky and Hutch in the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> it does. He needs high shorts. Uh, Short shorts. Yeah. So you know, Starsky and Hutch. Remember that? I well, do. Well, a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm older than you. You probably you were too young to know no, Starsky I remember. and Hutch. I remember them. Oh, look, who was your favourite? I don't remember them that well. Oh. <laughs> I remember chips. Chips. Oh. Do you remember chips? With the glasses? Yeah, with the sun, yeah, yeah. With the, uh, aviator yeah. sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the high tight pants. Yeah. yeah. I remember them. 80s, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that was cool. Oh, you gotta love them American shows. Awesome. Oh. Well, we've been in the crematorium the last couple of weeks. And we have, yeah. And we thought we better answer some questions this week. Yes, because, yeah, we've, you few. Yeah, it was hot in there. It was hot in there, wasn't mm. it? Well, obviously. <laughs> well, obviously. It's still hot outside, even but though yeah. we're in autumn. But yeah, it it'd be there. a hot job. <clears throat> Very hot job. Um, but the guys and the girls at the um, crematorium were wonderful with oh, us. Fantastic. <clears throat> they were so welcoming. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, right. yeah, I think Do you want a water? No, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, they were really, really nice, weren't they? They were really uh, helpful, and Tim was really informative. And oh, yeah, he, and he was he, great. He was really good. So, um, And I think, uh, like you said a while ago, Trish, I think we might pop back you know, later on down the line because there's a lot of questions coming in that we, mm. we can't answer. I think there was a question about um, animals being cremated together and things. Yeah. Um, we need to find that out and find out when uh, yeah. pet cremations and stuff like that. And so. Tim also said that he's got a few different topics that we can talk about with him. So I think we'll probably see if we can go back in a couple yeah. of months and have a chat. There's some stuff, some um, uni um, science-y sort of experiments that, um, that that facility has opened itself up for yeah. and allowed them to conduct some experiments there with yeah. different sorts of decomposition and things. There's, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. There's the, was it the Wall. green burials? Yeah, green burial. Oh, yeah, the that's green That's another burials. thing that he, um, he can talk to us about. Okay, so today we've got some questions. I'm going to read them again. So I'm just going to find them. Because they, you just talk amongst yourselves. Uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, this one is from Dave, and I think we missed it. Um, it got caught up in a oh, heap of other stuff. Wow, that we've it had. Was, sorry, Dave. Yeah, sorry, Dave. Oh, and I hope you and Karen are well. Yeah. Um, yes, well, I forgot about this one was on our list. A while yes, ago. definitely. So it's an interesting one though. Dave asks, "Hi, ladies. Another question: Have you ever prepared a celebrity?" Um, I've, I've, I've prepared a couple of local celebrities so probably not just people that are well known yeah here. in this area probably and probably that you've never heard out in the open world so not really not any big celebrities that you would actually all know so just but I'd expect that you treat them the same as anybody else anyway absolutely, total confidentiality absolutely, I wouldn't yeah. even know that they'd been yeah. through there yeah yeah so yeah and um, the few uh, celebrities that are local to Brisbane, Queensland and Australia, uh, obviously I can't give the details of who they were, but a few um, local celebrities, shall we say, in the Australia and Brisbane area, so yeah, in Queensland, sorry, area, so, but big, big names, no, no. I haven't, no, no, oh well, wow. no, one day maybe, you know, well, we're not wishing for that, no, we're not wishing for <laughs> that, but we do have some big famous stars here in Australia, yeah, we do, we do have some big we do celebrities, have some big here. celebs, so. yeah, that are, that are out in mm. Hollywood a lot, so yeah, but uh, no, Dave, not really, not you know, all my loved ones are celebrities to you, to me and their families. Oh, that's very sweet, Tracy, yeah. very diplomatic. Okay, next question, yeah. this one is from. Way Lamb, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, now this one also came through two weeks ago and okay. um, we left it because I thought it'd be an interesting one to talk about on camera. Um, so Way Lamb asks, with COVID patients who have died, do you always place them in body bags and can families still view them? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So with COVID patients, they are... Um, here in Australia. Here, sorry, here in Australia and in Queensland because in different states it could be different laws. But here in Queensland, 
Um, if we've got a COVID patient it's, um, and we go to the hospital to pick that COVID patient up, they're double bagged in the hospital with um, warnings on them that they are COVID positive patients. They have, it doesn't change for you. It doesn't change for me, whatever. If it says COVID on the bag, it, it may as well say nothing because I'd still treat it as if it was highly infectious because everybody's treat is highly infectious. So you're not, you know, you're not exposing yourself to anything. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine because... I'm laughing at Tret, what, what you said. Oh, what did I say? Tret came out again. <laughs> I can't help laugh at it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She treads them all the same. <laughs> okay, they're all treaded the same. <laughs> Got that? I don't know. Is that an English thing or? I don't it, think it's uh, a word. Is it just me? Is it a word? Is Tell us, word? UK people, is tread a word? Because it's not a word here. It's a Tracy word. Okay. But that's okay. Tracy words are cool. Yeah, I've got a lot of Tracy words. Yeah. What was I saying? Uh, you treat them all the same. I treat them all the same, yes. Treat so, them all the same. So, yes, yeah, so we'll get them um, a call. Maybe it's like et. Yeah. Because you say, I et it. I et it. We don't say that. I et it. Yeah. I et it. Oh, there you go. Yeah, treat it. Tret, That's what it is. Et. Okay, uh, sorry, yes. Et. You treat them all the same. Yeah, I treat them all the same. And they are double bagged in a hospital. So, once brought into a mortuary. Obviously, full PPE is on, and because you know it's COVID, you'll probably take extra, extra caution. And we can still prepare them and still embalm. Now, it's advised not to embalm, but if this person was Why? being... Because of the high risk of the infection. Right. But if the person's been repatted to a different country, you have to embalm. So it's recommended not to embalm. Is that just because you've then got more exposure to bloods and fluids yeah, and stuff? Yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Right. So um, what I would do is full PPE and I would spray the bag down with disinfectant before I actually touch the bag and then carefully unwrap and the, the face would be covered with a cloth and sprayed with disinfectant because obviously we don't want any of them aerosols coming out when I, I move the body. Everything will be removed and put into a clinical waste bin and sealed. Mm -hmm. You will not use that bin again. It'll be all sealed in a bag and sealed away. All, all the uh, body bag that they came in with will be sealed, locked away. And the preparation is the same. We still wash and do the, the normal prep. Um, Viewings are allowed. Mm -hmm. um, we... Um, Try not to get anybody to do family dressings, so we try Again, and keep less it involvement. less involvement. Yeah. So, um, when we do have viewings, we st we we say like try not to touch yeah. if you can, you know. Um, but the person will be disinfectant, will be cleaned, but it's always um, the warnings are be as you know minimal touch as possible, if at all, mm -hmm. you know. So viewing from a, like in the coffin and if there's a viewing, do family have to wear masks? It's probably advisable, it, it's not in the law that we have, but it's advisable to put gloves and masks on, mm -hmm. you know, um, if they do come and it's a COVID patient. But here in Australia, yes, we still can view Good. A, a COVID case. Yeah. Good. All right. So, um, and that's, I think we've answered most of the questions actually on the comment section. I yeah. don't think we've left many others. Um, no, I don't think. I think sometimes we, we miss a couple and then go back to them and forget because we're getting so many at the minute. And we got a, we got a comment uh, just the other day. It was on one of our videos a while ago. I think it was when Calvin was in the mortuary a long time ago in the coffin. Right, yeah. Uh, that one was way back at the yeah, beginning. Yeah. I had a gentleman called Fizzy. Or is it a lady? I don't know, just Fizzy. Ooh, fizzy. Could be a lady. Man. Anyway, hello Fizzy. Hi. And was amazed that we answered. You just said awesome. Oh. You just said awesome, and I went thank you very much, and and all of that, and I went oh wow, you answered, and I went we do try and answer every single one, uh, good or bad comments, we do try and answer them. So yeah, yeah. keep them coming, people. Yeah, keep they're great. Them coming, yeah. We had a cute little comment from our friend Dave, um, who we were speaking about earlier, who um, who said he went to YouTube and he typed in the search engine, are you dying to know, and it came up as are you dying for it. And so he thought that was quite ooh, funny because it just takes us to a whole other realm that we are not going to. We're so don't do get that. too excited, yeah, people. No, no one could do that. And You've got a story to tell us. Now, I want to hear this. I know you probably aren't ready to tell this story just yet, but um, there's a very uh, interesting story that Tracy was telling me yeah. recently at coffee, yeah. and I think she should share it with all of you. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So stories, you know, we get 
asked a lot, do we see anything in the mortuaries? Do we feel anything? Spooky. Um, and yes, just recently it was um, the weirdest thing. Anyway, I was at work inside the garage which is not in the mortuaries near the mortuary door in the garage where the vehicles come in and i was with the doctor uh, and the doctor's there to say, uh, check the bodies and check the pacemakers and stuff's being removed and he's signing the paperwork and we have stairs up in the garage that leads to an office upstairs that doesn't really get used as a storage office well that office always seems to have vibes in it and none of us like to go up and we sage it all the time because it feels a bit just feels heavy and weird just feels yeah you know uncomfortable anyway hasn't felt like that for a long time and i'm chatting to the doctor doing this and i got my head down and then i hear a bang like the door closing and the doctor looks straight up but i have my back and the doctor looks straight up over my head and then look back down he went oh is there somebody upstairs and i went Oh, I don't think so, but maybe he's one of the guys has gone up and I haven't noticed, you know, because he could have went up to get something out of the office. So I'm busy with the doctor, did the doctor thing, went back in the office and I said to the only two people that were there, when hi guys, were any of you up there while I was out with the doctor? And one of them said, no, no, on the phone uh, with the family all morning and the other one, Chris was out emptying the rubbish out, he wasn't even in the building. He said he was across the way putting the rubbish out and I went, ooh, that's really weird, weird, weird. So Brian, my boss, he was saying, oh, we had an incident the other day. Well, not an incident, he had somebody in having a chat and just showing them around. There was uh, somebody coming around to have a look around and fixing some equipment upstairs. Anyway, they went upstairs and as soon as I walked in the door, the person to the room to the room upstairs. The other visitor just said, "Oh, I can feel something really. I can feel something in here. Something's heavy. Yeah, really heavy and not right. And it's coming from that corner of the room." And Brian's on. Oh, yeah. And, and, and we have a, 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 a cold cot in the corner of the room for when we do baby viewings. We've uh, talked about cold cots before. I'll link to that yeah. one. And the gentleman said, no, no, I don't think it's that. Move further over and there's, um, there's a rolled up mattress behind the cot. And he went, it's that, it's that, it's right in that corner. He says, that's where I feel in the energy. And um, Brian said, oh, that mattress was used for a couple. We had a couple in and we needed uh, an extra bed because we needed the... Uh, to be viewed together. To, to view together. Yeah. And... Um, I'll not say the name of the person that was on it, but he mentioned uh, the person that was on it. And, the deceased. Uh, yeah, the deceased, sorry. Uh, the couple that wish it, like, having the viewing together. And it was uh, last year. This was last year. Um, and this guy who's in there just went, oh, my God, I know that family. I know that family really, really well. <laughs> and he went, that's just giving me goosebumps. And we freaked out. We were really freaked out. And there's something he had a connection with a person that actually also, because this this couple was murdered, and it was it was really horrific. So he had this connection with the family and knew that lovely couple, and you know. And he said, "I just can't believe." So what a small world for this person to be in there, to not know anything about that. We had this couple in last year. And find out, and then he gets this whole feeling of it. So since then, yeah. it was all a bit yeah spooky. So we went back up and saged the room again to say, let's calm down, let's try yeah. and get dissipate the all that yeah, energy. Try. So yeah, that was just goosebumpies, and you know whether you believe it in or not, you know I don't know. What, but there's a lot of times you feel stuff like that in the mortuaries, and the, uh, it's just just strange and we've had a lot of your stories like that and yeah it's that's right quite fascinating so yeah it's just odd that somebody who knew that situation or yeah. knew those those people felt it more so than you guys had felt it yeah being yeah there. a lot a lot more so obviously the connection was there and maybe that person went oh yeah oh i know you know we're and all we're, connected so yeah we're all it's a small world and we're all connected around there anyway it was it was it was just so weird and then hearing all them noises again I thought oh oh 
So, but it's we've staged the room and we've done all settled the, down now. Yeah, it seems to be calm again, and the and the area is really calm. So good. Yeah. So look after. See, we need to look after our loved ones and take care. Yeah. But it, yeah, that that was a give me goose. Still gives me goosebumps when I talk about it. So yeah, you look rattled actually. No, no, it She's was. rattled. I you was. rattled her. It was. It freaked me out a bit. But yeah. No. So yeah, but no. I know we take care of everybody, yeah, so that's it right. was probably because they knew each other. So Anyway, well, that was interesting. So if you've got any stories like that, send them in. We'd love to hear them. Yeah, yeah, keep sending them in and keep um, sending your questions and answers and all the comments we get, and we get some lovely comments. I mean, we've got Kim um, from America who commented lately saying, you know, like our page more, she was Yeah, saying. that's right. Yeah. I saw that. And thanks, Kim, Kim. Thanks, Kim. And do it, people. Yeah, if you like, like, and like this video. And also we've had lots of people. We've had... Um, Gosh, we've got so many. We've got Michael from Utah who's always commenting, you know, love the page. Hi, Michael, Utah. And oh, we've got so many people. We've got, oh, and who keeps chatting to us all the time? And it's big Steve, Yorkshire. <laughs> and we're talking about, oh, we were talking about on the answers and questions, all about Anna Castle and. Harry Potter was filmed in Anna Castle. Oh, and yeah, I used to take go. I used to take blood in Anna Castle. Hmm. When I worked at the blood service. There in you the go. UK. Yeah. Anna Castle. It's on Harry Potter. Check it out. <laughs> Alright guys, see. that's enough for today. Thank you. Thanks for that. We'll take talk to you care. soon. Bye. See you, Cal. See you, Cal. Bye.